In this video, I will show you one great device that can greatly speed up your workflow SenseLab's Quick Keys Remote. It comes as part of the SenseLab's Pen Tablet Medium bundle but is also available to purchase separately from the manufacturer's website, as well as from Amazon. When I first unboxed this device, I was very impressed with its feel and look. It has premium quality and will look great on your desktop. The remote has a little switch, nine buttons, as well as the dialing wheel. And what is really great, it has the interacting screen, which shows all the info. The remote can be connected to a computer via USB cable, which is also needed to charge up the device's battery. The tablet bundle has two USB cables included, both with USB-A and USB-C ends. The USB-C plugs into the device and the A end into the computer port. When the device is switched on and connected, the computer recognises it. Of course, you need to install the driver first. It is fast and easy. The cool thing about this remote is that it's wireless. When the battery is charged, you can unplug the cable and use a small USB Bluetooth dongle instead. It comes as part of the bundle. Simply plug this dongle into the computer's USB plug. The remote device should be discovered and recognised as soon as you switch it on. During installation, you will be asked what orientation this device should have. It is easy to change this setting at any time. It can be either horizontal or vertical and can fit right or left-handed users. As you may see, the dialing wheel can face up, left, down or right, whatever you feel more comfortable with. For illustration purposes, I will set up the wheel facing up. However, you may find it more ergonomic for the wheel to be at the right-hand side if you're going to use it with your left hand. Whatever setting you choose, all writing on the device display will adjust accordingly. Also, there are other settings, which are all self-explanatory and intuitive. Now it's time to show you how this remote keys device can be used with any software you use. I will demonstrate it on the example of Adobe Dreamweaver. To customise shortcuts, you need to add a program of your choice. It's very easy to do. Just click the plus button, then browse and pick any program you want to use this device with. Its icon will be added to the top row. I already have the Dreamweaver icon here. Then you may decide what you want the scrolling wheel to do. The wheel has four modes. Every mode is colour-coded. I set up this wheel to scroll the page up and down. However, there are many more functions available. Now, about the keys. This device has eight keys and one more button to switch between five sets of keys. This gives a total of 40 shortcut settings, which is sufficient for any software you may think of. If you use more than 40 shortcuts in some program, you must be a very advanced user. For Dreamweaver, I will set up the shortcuts I'm using most often. For the first key, I put div. If you work in this program, you must be using it all the time. Then I put class. I enter a short description to be displayed on the device screen, as well as the actual piece of code I want to be inserted every time I press the button. The choice of shortcuts is completely subjective. You can type in any piece of code, words, or key combination you want to use. Another useful tag is P for paragraph. In fact, anything you used to type manually can now be replaced with one click of the button. For example, 
Instead of typing five keys on the board for line break, you can now do it with one key on the remote. Here's another good example. Entering a hyperlink code can also be done with one click on the device. This will save you pressing 14 keys on the keyboard should you type it manually. I add the no follow code just in case as well. And the last key in this set will close all the tags, a very useful shortcut indeed. With the first set complete, you can continue adding shortcuts in remaining sets. For the next set, I set up the most used headers, h1, h2, h3 and h4. Another tag I use from time to time is the unordered list. And of course, I can add the ordered list as well. For such lists, the very useful shortcut will be the list item tag. I will end this set with the already used closing tag shortcut to have it as the last key one more time. This will save me time for switching between sets. When a new set is complete, you have to enable it. There are four sets of shortcuts, eight key combinations in each set. In the third set, I decided to put the strong tag, which will make the text bold. Also, I will add the M tag for italic text. Other keys I will leave with default settings. However, the last one will be handy to set up as the closing tag. It is very easy to add or change shortcuts at any time. Once again, I have to enable the third set before using it. Now it's time to test the device. You can see that the remote already shows the first set on the screen. Every key is clearly labelled. You don't have to memorise all key settings for every program because the remote will show different settings for every application automatically. Let's open a blank HTML document and test the SenseLabs Quick Keys remote. With one touch on the div button and one more touch on the last key, I entered the opening and closing div tags. Should I type it manually, it would take pressing 14 keys on my keyboard. I already like this remote. Let's add some class to the div. Once again, it only takes two clicks. Of course, you can't shortcut everything, but the most used tags and pieces of code are very handy to have under your fingertip. I will repeat the exercise. I really like closing tags with one click. Of course, the Dreamweaver does it perfectly well, but I have to press three buttons on the keyboard to do it. The remote device does it with just one click. Adding paragraphs is another thing I do very often in Dreamweaver. Having a shortcut for this greatly helps. And of course, the closing tag can be used here as well. Let's add another paragraph, and after the first line, make the line break with one click. I really like how this works. I guess, after some time, I will remember the shortcuts layout and will use this remote without even looking at the keys. Another useful shortcut is for hyperlinks. It only takes two clicks to enter the opening and closing hyperlink tags. Actually, I will use this opportunity to enter the SenseLabs website. You can find this SenseLabs Quick Keys remote on their website, SenseLabs.com. Here's another hyperlink code. This time I will add the no follow relationship just to demonstrate that this 17 key combination can also be entered with a single click of the button. If you're wondering where to purchase this device, I will add links to the company's shops on Amazon. 
Here's the one on Amazon UK. Another one for Amazon Germany. Amazon France. Amazon Italy. Amazon Spain. And finally, Amazon US. Now, it's time to test the scrolling wheel. It spins so smoothly. And the cool thing is, it is highlighted with some colour, which tells which setting it currently has. As you remember, I set up all settings to scroll the page up and down, and this is exactly what this wheel does. Let's change the set of keys. It's done with a single click. I enter headers from H1 to H4 with one click each. I close each header with one click as well. Now, another cool thing, making lists. When I type list codes manually, I always have a feeling that my time and attention could be used more productively than making the repetitive job of entering tags of unordered and ordered lists. This is where the remote can really help. I don't think I will be typing list codes on the keyboard ever again. This device can do it faster and better. I think you can appreciate that this device can do the boring job of repetitive key combinations, whatever the program you may use. It is not about lists or Dreamweaver, it is about saving time in any application you often use for work or hobby. There are four modes for the wheel. Changing between them is very pleasant. For every mode, there is a different colour. Scrolling up and down is just one function. You can set up whatever you want. For example, zoom in and out, or rotate one way or another, or even type some words as you scroll the wheel. This device is simply amazing. It's such a time saver. I could only wish I had this remote earlier. If you see its potential, here are the links where you can get it. They are also available in the video description below. Thank you, Sense Labs.